Here's what no. 5 Texas A&M coach Jimbo Fisher and his players had to say after the Aggies 41-27 win over no. 13 North Carolina. A&M coach Jimbo Fisher on how Saturday's win sets a tone moving forward. Understanding how to play on the big stage. You have to be able to go to these games, understand everything that went with it, and understand everything that happens with it, the pressures with it, the anxieties with it, the preparation for it and then perform when you have to perform and do what you have to do to get it done. On whether he foresaw the success A&M had this season. If you can't see it, it's not going to happen. I'm not saying I knew it was going to happen, but I could see it there. The potential was there. You live in vision or you live in circumstance. We try to live in vision. If you can't see things in the future and put yourself there and know what it takes to get there and understand the kind of talent you have to have, which I think we do, you're never going to get there. We kept painting that picture and those kids believed it and they saw it and went and did it. On A&M coming from behind to win. There's an urgency. You know the game's on the line. They're a good team. They're on scholarship too, they're going to make plays. But you have to say, okay, that's all water under the bridge. Play the next play, let me do what I have to do. There's an urgency and a caring and a gut-wrenching ability to raise your game to the next level and do your job no matter how you feel. That's what great teams do, that's what competitive teams do and that's what they did. On how Kellen Mond will be remembered at A&M. He's one of the great quarterbacks in Texas A&M history. A guy who persevered through a lot of things, overcame a lot of things, his work ethic in practice, his preparation and the things he did, the example he set, the ups and downs, people saw him have a good game, had some tough games, but never hung his head, always came back to work each and every day. He's a role model for these kids about how to persevere because nothing's ever going to be perfect and you're going to have the ups and downs to go through it. He is a tremendous human being. I love him to death, but more importantly, I respect him to death, for what he goes through, how he goes about his business, what he stands for, how much he loves A&M and what he was able to accomplish for A&M. On A&M's fourth quarter success, our kids work hard.